Good morning, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's week is off to a great start. I'm just doing a quick video on getting myself ready for a meeting in about five minutes or so. So this is just my morning routine. It's kind of what I've been adopting. Um, being home and you know, knowing that I have a meeting coming up in an hour and not wanting to spend a lot of time to do that. So I'm going to just show you kind of how I get ready. There's hopefully some tips in here as well. Um, and again, I want to look awake <laughs> on camera and um, and really just for my meetings. And that's the way I, that I meet now is through Zoom. And that's really the way I've met all the time because my team is all over the world. Um, so I'm just starting off, I like to do in the morning the um, soothing eye gel because it's brightening, but it's really light, especially, um, and it's tightening and it's like it's refreshing. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do my mo daily moisturizer. And again, this is gonna be like a super quick way to get some color and to get some coverage um, and to look like I'm not still wanting to crawl back in the covers and go back to bed. Even though I kind of do because it was 38 degrees this morning. All right, I'm gonna do the CC cream next. And I'm in between seasons, so you can mix. I'm kind of between light to medium and medium to deep. Um, but I'm just gonna do light to medium right now. My suntan has all but faded now that we're really into the fall. So just some coverage. Okay, now this is my favorite way to get coverage and color are the next few steps I'm gonna show you. So I have this, my dual, um, the highlighter and, and the color with the blush, so these blush sticks, and they actually, um, so this is the, the blush color, then on the other side, there's the highlighter. Um, they're, they, they, this was like limited edition, but I still have some of these and they're awesome. And then what I do is my, um, the App Play contour. And I like this for in person, but I like this for video too, because um, it's, the contour sort of helps like give your face some definition and um, um, definition and contour, I mean, I guess. And then I'm gonna use my blending brush, which is like the best thing in the world if you don't have this, it's great. And the idea here is I'm just going really fast, um, but there's coverage, it'll last all day, not super fussy, and I'm not using a ton of different brushes and products and tools. Um, and it's really, really quick. Because like I said, in the morning, some days I have my daughter at home, some days I'm trying to get them off to school, um, someday Joe's travel. So I just like need a really quick way to get some, to get my, my face on. Okay. So then I'm going to go and do from here is when I do uh, my concealer and cover up. So I'm going to do or my concealer and my under eye corrector. So I've got under the eyes, I'm just going to do these sort of triangles down. And then for the cover up, I'm going to do a little wipe away red because I have some like broken blood vessels. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, the app play with the green if you have this. So I just put this a little bit over some of the red, um, some blemishes and things. Oh, you know what? I, <laughs> I forgot to, let's, let's blend that guy away. And what's easy with the blending brush, it's like super foolproof. So even if you're not like, I know how to contour, if you knew, if you know how to draw on your face, like I just did, then you know how to contour because there's really nothing else to it except blending it in. Um, and then I'm just going to do some concealer. So again, I like to use these sponges cause they're super simple and, uh, I don't have to get my fingers all yucky, especially if I'm moving really quickly. I don't always, I might be multitasking or answering a call or sending a text. I don't want to get makeup all over my phone or whatever else I'm, I'm doing. And again, I'm just blending this in. I love the blending sponge for those at play sticks because you know, they're green and the white and the, um, the brighten up one is purple. So you want to make sure you blend it in and I'm just going to cover up that white bread, the green crayon with the, the cover up. Okay, so I have a pretty decent base of coverage. Now this is the big thing, is your eyebrows need 
Um, I feel like on camera or just, I don't know. Like I feel when I go live or I take a picture, if I don't have um, my eyebrows done, I tend to like notice it quite a bit than like in real life. So I'm just gonna use my brow pencil and fill in. And I will say, if you don't do much else, but you do your brows, they make your face look framed and they make you look put together. So it's kind of a hack too. If you don't wanna do a lot, do this, and then I'll show you what else to do. There's one other thing that you'll wanna do to make yourself, uh, make your face look just a little bit like more crisp and, and put together. And if you jump on or if you watch an hour later, just tell me um, that you are here. Tell me you're, oh, wrong side. <laughs> Not gonna do um, the brow tint. Tell me you're here and tell me what your favorite sort of getting ready hack is. And you can't say, I don't put makeup on because everybody does. And some, some point in your life, you'll have to do it really quickly. So tell me what that hack is. I'd love to hear it. Okay, so I'm just sort of controlling some of my flyaways. So if I did very little else, that would sort of frame my face and the eyebrows um, are a great place to start. Okay, and then I'm gonna do so I have a ton of eyeshadows, but I'd like to break them apart too. This is what I actually have for travel, but I like to have these like this for um, easy access so I know exactly like what colors I wanna to put together. And I'm not gonna to do too much here, but I do want just a little bit of base. And what I do, what I'm reaching for are my brushes and this little brush caddy. And I, I, I keep it on the counter, I, but I also just throw it in the closet too. Um, but it's nice to have them all out so I don't have to dig around and in a bag for them. So I'm just gonna do a little bit on top. And then what I'm gonna do really quickly to show you guys is I'm gonna do a little bit of the violet, frozen violet, frozen iris. And uh, super quick, right? Super messy. But I'll, you'll, I'll see how, I'll show you how I clean that up. Um, Cause it helps to have a little bit of definition on your eye brush as well. And then I'm going to use a super fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend. So the tip here is just use these brushes, use your tools, blend it around. You don't have to like use your finger or use a lot of fussy um, brushes. Just have a couple in your arsenal like this. That really, I mean, that's super simple. I didn't even have to do too much exact blending. Okay. I'm almost done. Oops. I lost something. I lost something. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the other. So I'm gonna put, and again, when you're looking straight at me, I need something on my eyes. I need something to frame my eyes and make me look a little bit more awake. So I'm gonna use, this is our uh, Fanorama. Mascara, of course. All right, super quick. And then the tip to put on eye, liner after mascara in case you get little flakies um is to put on afterwards okay and you're not really supposed to pull on your eye but if you're going to pull it up a little bit and then i just put a little bit from the corner to about midway through my eye i don't always especially when i'm moving quick i don't always go all the way across but it's just a little bit and then i'll finish off you don't have to, but I'm going to finish off with the mineral um, powder and just kind of smooth everything a little bit more long lasting. It'll stay um, and it'll be great. Okay, so that was a super quick way to get myself ready. The last thing I'm going to do, and I usually sort of right before my calls, I put some lip gloss on, but when I'm drinking coffee in the morning and I'm sitting in between calls, I'd like to put a little um, lip liner. So this will help. Give yourself some long lasting color. Oh, I didn't, oh gosh, I didn't really do that. Now I'm saying I probably could have blended, blended in a little bit better when I'm looking in a real mirror. Uh, there we go. But anyways, the, the um, lip liner helps stay on and then rosewood, really easy neutral. And we're ready to go, ready for my calls. Took only a few minutes. Reach out with questions, tag, say that you were here, what your favorite quick tip is to get ready, and reach out with any questions. Have a great day. Bye.